see this is Islam this is the Quran and this is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa the messenger of Allah who was he was at peace he was praying in the night praying towards his Lord that was time for what prayer and think about this on the battlefield Allah did not allow the Muslim and who was the legacy of all of this that the world is a beneficiary of this woman. he's the most trustworthy he's the most good morning good afternoon good evening whatever time you're watching from i'm so glad to have you all here so Balidias is going to talk about muhammad the man and his message in the modern world so without further ado let's check it out his name was muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasalam ibn abdullah al-hashimi al Qurayshi. He's Muhammad, the slave of Allah, the prophet and messenger of Allah, the final prophet sent to this world after a long line of prophets. And that prophet, that Jesus Christ, the son of Mary, spoke about and prophesied. And he, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa said, I and Jesus Christ are just like these two fingers. The Prophet Sam said, do not pray for war, but when it comes, be patient. And our Prophet Sam, after he received revelation, we're saying, after he was 40 years old, the Prophet Sam, he fought in 37 battles. And he carried with him 18 kilos, 18 kilos of armament in the hot sun, going up mountains, crossing the desert when it's 110 degrees and he's carrying 18 kilos of armor riding on a horse. And this is after he's what? 45. I'm mean, after he's, I'm sorry, 50, 55. 60. So the Prophet Sam fought in wars and the companions of the Prophet Sam said, they said when the Prophet Sam was on the battlefield, he was the most ferocious. They said when he was on the battlefield, he was not ducking. He was standing in clear sight. He was not ducking. He was not hiding. He was in clear sight of the enemies of Allah and he was fighting them. And they said, Wallahi, we used to hide behind the Prophet Sallallahu ourselves. So when he was at war, he was a man of war. And when he was at peace, he was praying in the night, one third or two thirds of the night, praying towards his Lord because that wasn't time for war, that was time for what? Prayer. Prayer. And think about this. On the battlefield, Allah did not allow the Muslims to stop fighting. He said, oh, some of you go forward and continue to fight while the others is in sajda. When the other ones come out of sajda, the other ones go back and they fight. And so the Salah went like that. Say Allahu Akbar. Allah. So our fighting is balanced and our fighting is principled. It's not a fighting and a war like you see seeing on TV. Don't get it twisted. See, this is Islam. This is the Quran. And this is Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, the messenger of Allah, who was the receptacle of all of this. That man who received all of this and who was the legacy of all of this that the world is a beneficiary of this is what we're talking about here tonight he's the most honorable he's the most trustworthy he's the most truthful he's the holder of the most integrity the prophet Sam, he was tortured he was cursed he was stoned he was denied he was boycotted he spent two and a half years in a valley in Mecca where they boycotted him. They wouldn't allow anybody to bring food, blankets, water, nothing. One of the companions of the Prophet Sallallahu said, Wallahi, we were so hungry. 
that we used to eat the cactus. We used to eat the cactus from the desert. And when we used to chew it, it made our mouths bleed, but we ate it anyway. The people of the Jannah, the people of the paradise, they are Faizun. They are the people who will be successful even if they die, even if they are suffered, even if they are oppressed, even if they are tortured, even if they are killed. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala calls them Faizun. They will be successful because life is like that, like that, like that. However long you live, with what of enjoyment that you have, life is like that. But the hereafter, well, akhirah to khairun wa abaka, al akhirah to khairun wa abaka. That the akhirah, the hereafter, is better and more lasting than what you have with you today. Oh, Muslims, if we come back to Allah, come back to our senses. Come back to the discipline, come back to the Quran, come back to the Sunnah. When we know this man well, the one that we say, Allahumma salli ala Sayyidina wa Nabiyina wa Habibina Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. When we come back to that, Allah will give us success. Mm. No, powerful message to charge every one of us up. Like, he spoke about the life of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He spoke about Muhammad. He spoke about how Muhammad fought war. He was a man of war and also a man of peace. No, it, there are some times that you know you cannot just be quiet. When war comes, you have to go for it. And sometimes that you have to create peace. Peace has to happen. So he said, when war comes, don't lose hope. Just trust in God. And at the age of 40 years. Prophet Muhammad fought 30 something battles. Oh my goodness. I was like, wow. The man actually, you know, he had to fight for the rights of his people. Things were not done rightly. That's the reason why he fought those battles. If not, he wouldn't have done that. So anything anybody do, there's always a reason for it. He didn't do it because of his own self. He didn't do it because he wants to get recognition or he wants to be known or he was no no nobody wants to do that kind of thing. But he fought those war so that peace can reign. You know, after war, peace will surely reign. you know there's some things that need to be corrected for peace to reign. So that's the reason why he fought those wars, so that things can be corrected and Muslims can have their freedom and they can have their peace. So even though he was a man of war, he was also a man of peace. You know, when it was time for him to, you know, to live a peaceful life, he did so. And that point in time, he was able to commune well with God, with Allah. So, you know, Kalinyasi is just charging people up that, see, this is who Prophet Muhammad was. This is what he did. This is the message he had for the world. That no matter the situation you find yourself, trust in Allah, trust in him, trust in God. Because, you know, God always see you are true god will always say us true so ina said for us to able to go back to god we need to study the word which is the quran we need to pray you need to learn the sunnah you need to do a lot of sacrifices sacrifices must be involved for you to you know able to know god more for you to get closer to god more i love his you know his his, his message you know his sermon was powerful you know it was just trying to charge people up, letting people know that, you know, there is God. There is God. They didn't deny the fact that Muhammad fought war. Yes, he fought war. And the war was for the benefit of the Muslims. And at the end of the day, you know, peace reigned. And he was also a man of peace. He was a peaceful person. So we should be peaceful. No matter what we do, we should be peaceful. We should think. We should think about our neighbor, think about ourselves. You know, always involve God in everything. You know, now no matter what you're going through, no matter the war, the challenge, you know, God will never abandon you. He's always there for you and hi. So that was a beautiful one. I really enjoyed this. Let me know your point of view regarding this video. Let's keep this good discussion going in the comment box. Thank you so much for watching to this moment. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.